Shalom, shalom. Welcome back, brothers and sisters, to Reborn for Greatness Ministries. I am Queen Lily Elizabeth, and I wanted to come on and share a dream that Father Ahaya granted me weeks ago. Um, I'm going to plead the blood really quick before I get into uh, the video. So I plead the blood of Holy Ashaya over everyone who's watching this video. And I place the cloak of invisibility of protection over this message. In Yeshaya Hamashiach's mighty name, amen. So before I uh, tell you all the dream and what was given to me, I just want to just first just humbly come before the Father and just ask for your forgiveness, Father. I humbly ask for your forgiveness for not properly exercising my talents um, and in my walk a few years back I used to ask the father all the time like um, father what is my place you know what am I supposed to do uh, what is my purpose what is my gift and it seems that he has uh, blessed me with a gift I'm not deserving of it, but he has blessed me with a gift, a talent um, um, as teacher, and uh, I'm not doing the job. And um, I just want to just apologize, um, Father, and I want to apologize to you all as well because my disobedience could have caused someone to stumble or it could have caused division in the body of Christ. And that's never my intention to ever do that. Um, so please find me worthy enough to be forgiven. Um, I ask your forgiveness, Father. Please find me worthy. Um, yeah. So let me um, tell you all the dream. Um, so I had this dream, like I said, a few weeks ago. Um, in the dream, I was in a house. I never seen this um, house before, but in my spirit, I knew it was home. And um, I knew my brother killed Jada Pickett. Uh, he wasn't in the dream with me, um, but it was put in my spirit that um, he killed her, and I knew of it. And I also knew that she was getting ready to come back and kill us. And I was really struggling with this. I knew she was getting ready to come back and kill us, and I just didn't want to deal with it. I didn't want to go through this. For some reason, it was it was like in my spirit, like, I don't want to go through this again. You know, it, uh, I really struggled with it to the point where, you know, when you're having a nightmare, not saying it was a nightmare, but when you're having a dream that you just don't want to deal with anymore, you wake yourself up, right? But, you know, you don't wake yourself up. Father wakes you up. So he allowed me to to uh, wake myself up in that dream because he knew I just didn't want to go through this situation anymore. I didn't kill her, but I, I just didn't want to go through that period. I didn't want to go through it. So, yeah, I woke me up and I got up and I was puzzled and I just sat for a minute. And uh, I know a good week or two went by and I was like, you know, um, Holy Spirit, can you please grant me understanding of that dream? What does it mean? And so um, she put Psalms 23, 4 in my, in my spirit. And uh, I'm going to read Psalms 23. Four, and it says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, 
for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. That is what um, Holy Spirit downloaded in me. And when I just closed my eyes and just reminded myself of what was actually going on in the dream, it fits perfectly. It fits. I don't know if this message is for me or if it's for the body of Christ, uh, because I know right now everybody's, you know, going through certain things and uh, and father doesn't want us to fear. So I looked up the name Jada and I looked up the last name Pinkett. So Jada in Hebrew means he knows. Um, and it also means the knowing one and Pinkett means, um, hard or brave. So I think in this particular dream with the scripture that Ruach HaKadosh downloaded in my spirit, I, I think father is saying to us, he is our protector and we have nothing to fear. We should fear no death, fear no man, fear no devil, no evil, no juice, mark, uh, none of that. He is our shepherd. And we um, are not lacking necessities. We are not lacking anything that we need. He has given us everything that we need for our walks to the death. And um, he is our rod and our staff, and he comforts us. He is with us. He's saying it's every step of the way. So this is my message. Uh, well, not my message. This is Father's dream. This is Father's message to you all that um, might be having fear about the things that's going on in the world now. We're not going to fear. We're going to keep focusing on Father Ahaya because he is the way we can't do anything but focus on him. He is our rod and our staff, our shepherd, our protector. He is our, 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 our savior. He's the one. He's going to save us. We have nothing to fear. We just need to keep our eyes and focus on him because whatever is going to go on out here in this world is going to go on regardless. I just, I mean, I'm just not saying this to you all. I'm, I'm walking, you know, this path too. And sometimes it, it does get a little difficult, but, um, through every day, you know, every day I just try to put father, you know, put him first and I keep my thoughts, keep my thoughts on him. That all through the day you have to, and that's the only way you're going to be able to make it here. So I just hope and pray this message reaches who it needs to. And uh, remember to take all things said here to Father um, for your own confirmation. Always take it to him, um, especially with so many um, people out here giving uh, their own dreams and stories, leaning on their own understanding and not allowing um Ruach HaKadosh to lead them into knowing, you know, and truth and understanding. So take all things to him. And I just want to leave you with John uh, 15, verse 9. It says, as the father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. Holy Shishaya.